Now, just as a reminder, every letter in Arabic that takes a kasra has the E sound, a very distinct E sound. Bismillah. The lam right here occurs in lafzul jalala in the word Allah. To determine whether it is read with tafkhim or tarqiq, we look at what precedes it. In this case, we have a kasra on the meme. So the lam is read with a thin, um, in a thin and light way. Bismillah, with two counts. Yirrahman. The ra is heavy because it takes a fatha. Same thing over here. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ayah number one. أَرَأَيْتَ الَّذِي يُكَذِّبُ بِالْدِينِ Now notice over here the ra is heavy again because it's maftuh, takes a fatha but is flanked by two hamzas both of which are light so to recite this correctly make sure the hamza is light the ra is heavy and the second hamza is light and make sure the ya with the sukun on top is pronounced very clearly. This is two counts long. Now notice the the here, the the here, the ba and the da. All of these letters have a kasra underneath. You want to have the e sound. Over here, we have a special type of mud called mud al adi al sukun. It's a mud that results due to stopping at the end of the ayah. You can elongate it two, four, or six counts. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, we will elongate it with four counts. So, one more time. Ayah number two. فَذَلِكَ الَّذِي يَدْعُ الْيَتِيمِ The the here has two counts. The the here also has two counts. And then over here, we have the very interesting case of an ayn with a shadda on top. So just as a reminder, a shadda is basically a sukun followed by something that takes a harka. In this case, we have a dhamma. Okay. So, you're basically reading Now, care must be taken not to overemphasize the ayn. Um, you don't want to make it too heavy and thick. So, let's read this ayah one last time. There is, shouldn't be any problems uh, anywhere else here. فَذَلِكَ الَّذِي يَدُعُ الْيَتِيمِ Ayah number three. وَلَا يَحُضُّ عَلَى طَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ Lam here has two counts. يَحُضُّ عَلَى two counts. And the ayin here has also has two counts. And make sure again, these letters that take a kasra have the e sound. وَلَا يَحُضُّ عَلَى طَعَامِ الْمِسْكِينَ One note about muds. Make sure that the noon, the nasal sound of the noon, doesn't kick in prematurely. So, in the word miskin, when you are elongating with the ya, ki there should not be any nasal sound. There might be some nasal sound that comes naturally, but really the noon comes in only in the very end. So you should not be reciting like this. Miskin, right, where the noon sound is spilling over into, spilling over into the mud. This comes in at the last second where um, the sukun is actually um, you know, placed on the noon, and that's where the nasal sound is. Ayah number four. 
فَوَيْلٌ وَيْ This is Aleen. Make sure the Ya with the Sukun is pronounced very clearly. And then over here we have a Tanween followed by a Lam. So there are four rules re re related to Nun, Sakina, and Tanween. They are Ilhal, Ilgham, Iqlab, and Ikhfa. Every time you encounter a Nun, Sakina, or Tanween, you want to look at the letter, the, the letter that follows. In this case, we have a Lam. So the rule is going to be um, You want to assimilate the tanween into the lam without any nasal sound. So it's as if the tanween is dropped and you're just saying lul, lul. The slot here is a heavy letter so make sure you read that with tafkhim, with a full mouth. فَوَيْلُلْ Ayah number five. Two counts long. Whom? Now this meme should be read with ilhar, with in a manifest and clear way. Whom? Whom? Make sure the sound comes from your lips. Now we have a noon sakina, a noon with the sukun, followed by sod. Okay. This rule is called ikhfa. What you want to do is you want to hold on to the nasal sound on the noon sakina for just two counts because of the sod. La is two counts long. We have the E sound here and here. The meme should be read with its halt with clarity. Sahun. Sa is two counts long. Let's read I number five one time. Alladina hum an salati him sahun. Ayah number six. Alladina hum yuraun. Over here you have two counts. Whom the meme is read with clarity. You Now ra again, because it is maftuh, has a fatha, make sure you read it with tafkhim. And in this case we have a mud called mud al mutasid. Or um, you may hear people call it mud al wajib al mutasil. Basically you have one of the letters of mud, an alif, followed by hamza in the same word. You elongate four or five counts. Four or five counts. Now pay attention to the ya and the hamza that's flanking the ra. These are both light. So you don't want the hamza to be read with tafkhim, uh, nor do you want the ya to be read with tafkhim, just the ra. Let's read this ayah one time. Alladina hum yuraun. And the last ayah. Wa yamna'oon al ma'oon. This meme should be read with idhar. Two counts over here. Two counts over here. And that's it. So nothing special going on in the last verse. Okay, now let's read the entire surah one time from the very beginning. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Araita Ladi Yukadibu Bidin. Fadi Kaladi Yadu Rul Yatim. Wala Yahudu Ala Tuanil Miskin.